We're going to look at inductors now in circuits. How do we add them together, whether in series or in parallel? Okay. We're going to find out that our formulas are very similar to the resistance formulas. Same sort of method. In a series, I just add them. Let's take a look. Total inductance will equal inductor one plus inductor two, their inductances. Now, remember, terminology is important. L1, inductor number one, has an inductance, L for inductance, of two Henry's. Inductance is measured in Henry's. So two Henry's plus four Henry's equals six Henry's. That's all there is. No problem. Let's look at the parallel. Now we're going to do a, a, a three branch parallel in a moment, but I just got a two now. So remember you had a couple different formulas you could use for adding resistors in parallel. And when you had two of them, whether they were the same or different value, if you just had two, you could use the product sum. So we'll use that one here. Inductor one times inductor two divided by the quantity of inductor one's value plus the second inductor's value. three keeps going. So 1.3, three repeating, or we can just round it to 1.33. That would be close enough for us. One point three three Henry's. There you have it. Just same fashion as resistors. Now we're going to add a third inductor to each. Three inductors in series, three in parallel. The main difference here is I cannot use the product sum because that's just if you have either two resistors or in this case, two inductors, then I can use the product sum. Other than that, we've got to go to what I refer to as the inverse inverse formula. We'll go through that momentarily. What changes over here? You'll notice I've also changed the numbers slightly just to make a clear point, hopefully. Three inductors in a row. 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 9 Henry's. 9 Henry's. You just plus them. Over here, let's take a look. 1 divided by, and you're going to want to open parentheses, We'll go through the steps on a calculator at this end of this video in case you need to have a refresher on how do I punch this in the calculator simply. We'll have that at the tacked on the end of the video. One over three plus one over three plus one over three. Here, because the numbers are relatively simple, I've got one third plus one third plus one third. So I know that's going to be one on the denominator, one on the numerator, and therefore simply equals one Henry. And does that fit what we re recall from series and parallel circuits when working with resistors? The total inductance here is greater than any one of these. They just get added together. More and more inductance as we go. And if you think of how inductors are made, I'm just adding essentially more and more coils, creating a larger inductance. But parallel rules, back in resistors, you ended up with a smaller resistance on the total. And it's the same in inductors. Three Henry's, three Henry's, three Henry's, and I end up with one. So again, our rules still apply, that we're, the rules we're familiar with still apply. That's how we add them, series and parallel. 
And some of you remember there was that third formula for adding parallel, where if they are all the same size, you simply take the value divided how, by how, how many there are. So they're all three Henrys divided by three equals one. That's the little trick, the shortcut, if they're all the same size. Okay, from here, we're just gonna punch them in for, on the calculator and we'll see how that works. For those of you that need a reminder, we're gonna go through the steps on using this inverse inverse formula. Okay, first thing I wanna establish is this, that the inductors have a value of three Henry's each. And in the formula, the three ends up as a denominator. So it's gonna be easier if we can just add one third plus one third plus one third. And the easiest way to punch that in the calculator is using the inverse key. To establish what an inverse is, just to remind us, three can be written like this, three over one, another way of writing three. If I take the inverse of something, it's flipping them. So three, would become one third. Let's see how it works. And turn this on. And we're going to take one divided by, and remember PEMDAS and all of that, the order of operations is important. So since we're dividing by a quantity, we need to put our parentheses here, open parentheses. And then how do I write one third to add them all together? The easiest way is to go three inverse key plus three inverse key, plus three inverse key. And what I did, each of those threes with the negative one is essentially one third plus one third plus one third. I can close the parentheses if I want. And what's my answer? Sure enough, it's one. 